Hey Steve, what can you tell us about the seated statue of George Washington by Horatio Greenow? Uh, the center part of the Capitol building was originally intended to be the tomb of George Washington, and so uh, there was a, um, a hole in the center of the rotunda where you could look down uh, through the crypt into the tomb. Uh, but uh, uh, they weren't able to finish the tomb for 25 years after Washington died because in the meanwhile the British burned the building and we had to rebuild much of it. Uh, and so um, by the time they got it done, the family wouldn't let him have the body, so he still rests in peace out of Mount Vernon, where he wanted to be anyway, and we have an empty tomb waiting for someone else to be worthy. Uh, so in place of having the body there, uh, they decided to have a huge statue. And so they contracted with the most prominent American sculptor of the day, Horatio Greeno, who worked in Europe, and, uh, and he agreed to do a a grand statue of Washington in the, uh, in the European style. And it, w it is uh, 11 feet high and, and uh, weighs 12 tons. And it depicts George Washington as Zeus. Uh, a little odd with Washington's wig on, but uh, Zeus is usually depicted uh, without a shirt. And so um, George Washington is there without a shirt. And the statue is known as Old Shirtless. Uh, and Americans didn't like uh, seeing our uh, national hero bare-chested. We're not used to that kind of thing. And so uh, uh, they kind of made fun of it, and the artist decided it must be that it was placed wrong in the rotunda, so he had it moved so that the light would fall on it differently. But still, Americans didn't like it and, and kind of made fun of it, and so uh, they finally moved it outside. It was kind of a distraction in the rotunda. And, uh, and then people would climb on it and so forth. And so finally, they took, after a couple of years outside, they took it to the Smithsonian. Uh, and so it is there now at the National Museum of American History. And you can see this huge uh, statue of Washington. It, it is the centerpiece of the new Smithsonian exhibit on the nation we build together. Thanks.